Hello everyone, welcome to another HEMA review. I have two products here from Neiman Fencing. I'll link their website and Facebook group down below. Um, if you are unfamiliar with Neiman Fencing, they are well known in the HEMA community. They are also really well known for their willingness to customize and make customized individualized pieces of armor for the HEMA community. So definitely check them out. It's uh, well worth the browse. Um, I'd also like to disclose in my first two Nema, Neiman prod, um, products. Um, and first of all, I am very impressed with both products. Just the craftsmanship and the rugged, the ruggedness of the design themselves. Um, both products have really nicely done seams, even on the inside where that's where people tend to skimp a little bit. It's well done. Their, even their branding just is, it doesn't scream at you, but it's there. Their badge on the inside is nicely done. The way they even did the suspenders, a lot of people just sew it on the inside and call it a day. Um, they decided to sandwich between the two materials and that's never coming out. That's, that's nicely done. The, even the materials for the suspenders is well done. Um, Note that these pants do not have a built-in cup, so you'll have to wear a jock strap or something underneath. Um, and it has Velcro and, and zipper. The Velcro is nicely chosen as well. Um, these are medium off the shelf. You may want to have them customize the crotch area. I'm finding, I can't find a very good spot um, when I adjust the suspenders for height-wise. Uh, so you might want to get them to customize the seams here a little bit. Um, I don't have very many complaints about these pants. They're pants. There's not much to complain about. I have some suggestions for improvements. So I'll talk more about this gel that they, this soft squishy padding that they've put on the coat and on these pants to keep them light uh, when I talk about the coat. For the pants, I'm highly suggesting that they either bring it up higher or they put a round circle here around where your hip is and where your upper thigh is. So it comes down halfway down my quad, which is okay for lower hits, but anything up high, well, there's no padding. So that just doesn't make sense. So they could either just increase this taper up higher or put a round circular piece of this there and it would be no problem. The other area of complaint I have, and this is maybe me just not liking pants in general, I tend not to wear them, I usually wear long coats. Um, this elastic band, which lives below the knee and in, in the upper calf, um, is fine. But what I don't like is how thick this gel is around the knee. I'm having a problem putting a pad over top. If I put a pad over top, it binds up the material behind my leg. And the pads I do have actually don't fit underneath because they're not really designed to be underneath stuff. So I either have to find a new pad that will work underneath this or a bigger pad, which might be one of their Neiman products off their website, which would work with this. But I think it's a little unnecessary. So I think they could put this up higher. And then I also think they could stop this for, this is more of a personal preference, more above the knee and have just material going down the knee so you can put on other padding without worrying about material binding. That's about it though with the pants. Outside of that, like, I can highly suggest these to people who like pants. I think it's a really nice design. All right, moving on to the coat. This has to be one of the more beautiful coats I've actually seen on the market. This is just nice looking all around. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera, but I hope you can, how transparent or see-through that padding is on the back. I can see the camera actually through the mesh. They've put some more of that gel on the back, and they've also put some on the forearms, which I'll talk about later in the video. I've been wearing the coat and I can honestly feel myself breathing through the back here versus the sides. I think it's one of the smarter choices I've ever seen. And I can't keep commenting enough on the overall build quality and how everything looks. Just how this circular part of the shoulder here looks, all the seams and everything. 
just beautifully done. The neck piece is beautifully done. It's got a blade stop on it right here. Velcro, the zipper, and there's a little bit of Velcro beside the zipper as well. Beautifully done product. I only have two complaints about this coat. One, the white inside. A lot of people have commented on coats in general that they should never have white insides because they eventually turn yellow and they stain with sweat and they eventually start looking bad. So they should have just chosen a darker color or black for the inside. That would have been just a smarter thing. The next complaint is actually personal. So even if I would have sent them more customized specs for the coat, I probably would not have caught this until I got to try it on. They have a very small circumference for the arm. And unfortunately, um, I have a large front delt and pec and big circumference here. The coat dimensions itself fit me perfectly every well. The length, the arm sleeve, everything fits me perfectly. But here, it's too tight. And I've worn it over time and I think, oh, maybe it'll loosen up. But it's actually not a loosening up thing. It's the way it's actually designed right here, which once again, it's very well done. But for me, it's too tight. And this ends up sawing into my um, armpit and my pec muscle. Um, it doesn't affect me going up, but whenever I go forward, which is most of your front movement when you're using a sword, is a, is a front movement such as this. And because it pinches up in here, it saws across, and it actually does more than chafe. It actually starts cutting into my skin a little bit. So that's something that should not affect anyone else. That's a personalized problem. It has nothing to do with the quality or the build or design of, the, of this coat. I should have gotten this with a customized probably a bigger just a bigger opening would have been better for me all right I'm back with the coat on um, I want to make a couple comments um, about what Neiman has actually announced just quite recently a few weeks ago maybe it was a month ago now on their Facebook group about the coat the great thing about Neiman is they listen to their clientele they listen to the people buying their coat and a lot of people bought this coat for longsword this is the softer sort of material which isn't as protective for long sword as you would need. For side sword, this coat as is, is pretty much done. You're good to go, you might just need a little bit of a harder elbow cup on top or underneath this and you're good to go. For long sword, it's a bit too soft. The shoulders are a bit too soft. Um, by the way, the shoulder design is very nice um, with the circular stitching here. Not only does it, is it functional, but it looks good. Um, but what they announced on their Facebook group is that they've now made a longsword version with harder material. Of course, this happened right when mine shipped. So I wasn't able to redo my order. So that might work for me because I do need to probably send this back to them or sell this to someone else and then get a, a customized armpit for myself. And so that'll probably work out in, in, in the end for me. Um, so getting back to the coat, as you can see, Beautifully designed coat. Well done everywhere. My only complaints, as I mentioned, was the white on the inside, which is gonna turn yellow, and this silly strap here, which in my opinion should be on the inside, just for looks and aesthetics, and it should also be adjustable. So, you know, just in case you get fatter or you get skinnier, you can adjust it. Um, Christmas is coming, and we all know what happens. Um, just, I'm, once again, just a comment. I'm just so impressed with all of the seams on this coat. Just looking at it, it's beautiful. So are there any other complaints about this coat? There is one com more complaint about the coat. Putting the gel here on the forearm seems like a really good idea at first. First of all, I can comment that I feel the gel working, meaning it's breathable. This part of my body is much cooler than this part of my body already. It can, I can already feel my back breathing which is great, so this stuff is working. I just think they, they now need to put another option on their website where you can customize this section of your padding. If you wear a secondary forearm guard, which you will have to for long speed sparring, this is not hard enough to protect your forearm, you will need a secondary style forearm guard with an elbow cup or elbow extension, whatever you need, Unfortunately, when you end up putting this on over top of the gel, it now makes, in my opinion, the forearm too bulky and adds just a little bit of extra weight that you don't need. If you want to stay mobile and you don't want too much binding and that sort of thing, this, in my opinion, is too thick for the forearm. 
great for side sword because you won't need to add anything, but when you need to go long sword and you need to add other products, that's now causing a, a, an issue. So having on, on your website, on their website, the ability to customize this and say like, just to check marks, like order with just material and all they would then need to do is put a very thin material, the thinnest possible here. Um, if you use another forearm guard, that would be a great option to have. I hope someone's watching this that uh, may be able to make that change. The other reason why it's a problem is one of the more popular types of gloves out there is uh, the sparring gloves. Different variations like the five finger or the hoof glove that they have seem to be some of the most popular gloves out there on the market. Um, doesn't matter whether you have the half gauntlet or whether you have the full size gauntlet with the elbow protection. Once again, because of how thick this is, it causes a binding problem and you can see right when you get to the wrist, it doesn't want to go up. And then you get binding here and you get binding in the, because it's pushing the sleeve up here in this part. And then you need to untie this and you need to make this part of your gauntlet very loose. And once again, you're creating mobility issues. It's nothing major. You can, you can open it up and, and get this to work if you loosen this part a little bit. But once again, I feel it to be unnecessary if you've already got the padding you want. So having an option to get a sleeve with, I don't know if they can make this gel thinner, maybe they can make it thinner, um, where you could order it with like thin gel or thick gel, whatever it may be. Um, some sort of option for people to, who tend to use long sword forearm guards or a glove like this would be great. So. Outside of a couple personal issues, which would be with added padding on this and the joint here not being quite designed for someone of my girth and the circumference of my arm and chest and delts and that sort of thing. Outside of that, this coat is very good. Mobility is great all around. You can put your arms up absolutely no effort. You have full motion every direction you need to go. It's, it's very mobile. Um, for me, I'm gonna to have to get a customized one and go from there, which will work to my benefit because then I can get the harder long sword stuff. So, not too much more to say about the coat itself. Um, I don't think I'll have a follow-up review coming for a while for this coat because I'm actually not gonna use this coat in combat. I want to either sell to someone brand new, uh, maybe give them a little bit of a discount or return it to Neiman themselves and then do something customized with them. And I've got a really cool idea for a customization with them that involves this similar style. As you guys all know, I wear a long coat most of the time. And when I was looking at this and how beautifully designed it is, if they could make me a long coat. Now, I have no idea if they have the resources, the ability to do it, but if you go to their website, they make all sorts of beautiful customized armor. And I'm wondering if they can do it. I'm going to go that route. And um, if I can't do that, I will simply just get the long sword version of this. I still might also get the long sword version of this coat just to review and then sell it again to someone else um, after the review. So thank you for watching the video. I hope this video wasn't too garbled up. Um, it's just a first review of the coat. Um, stand by for some follow-up videos far off into the future. Thank you for watching and have a nice day or evening depending on where you live.